I'm Cheryl, I'm the Behavior Outreach Coordinator here at the Humane Society and a double certified dog trainer. in different stages of puppies lives so they go through different fear periods and what you can do is really associate those noises or those places with something positive so rather than just exposing them you want to make sure that it's a positive experience for them so for example if it's some noises you can play them on YouTube at a really low volume and have some really high value treats that your dog doesn't get very often so you pair that noise with something good happening and then you can slowly increase that volume um, depending on how your dog is doing and same with some different areas of the house. So don't push them into the area that they're fearful of. Just take your time and see how they're doing. If you need more information on this, we do have Fearful Fido classes and you can definitely book a private consult with us as well. Once again, this is a fear question. Um, our dogs go through different fear periods, especially up to about 24 or 18 to 24 months of their life. So you want to make sure that everything is positive. So sometimes we'll just do some exposure and it's just like a neutral experience for them. We want to make sure it's a really awesome experience for them so that they become confident later on in life and think it's a really good thing. So pairing it with really high food rewards, so cheese, hot dogs, any type of smelly fish, just ensuring that they're saying, hey, this place is a big treat dispenser and it's okay. We never want to force our puppies or dogs into a place that they're unsure of, so you want to take it really slow. So watch their body language if they're trying to, if they're cowering or trying to back away, we really want them to have that consent to leave. So have them at a distance where they're comfortable and then work from there and then you can slowly build it up. Separation anxiety is a tough one. Um, we do have a certified separation anxiety trainers uh, in the city, so you can definitely email the Behavior Helpline and ask for that. We will be having a seminar with Julie Naismith, who is a CSAT in the spring, and she'll be coming and talking about separation anxiety in dogs. Because it's an emotional response, we really want to work on conditioning their emotional response in a positive way, and it's actually a slow process. It can be done, uh, definitely, but I would suggest either reaching out to us or booking a private consult and we can help you further with that. So we do have a position statement on our website regarding uh, the tethering of dogs. So we do encourage you to go to our website and see our position on this.